Hello and welcome to Linux Sync tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use the SIG alarm and alarm functions in C language. But before we dive into the tutorial, you should know that we need a GCC compiler on our machine. To put simply, the alarm function is used to generate SIG alarm signals after a specified amount of time has passed. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the alarm function and SIG alarm signal in Linux. So let's get started. We need to know the syntax of the alarm function. The syntax of the alarm function is being displayed to you on your screens and as you can see that it takes only one single argument which is seconds. After these seconds have elapsed since requesting the alarm function, the SIG alarm signal is generated. The default behavior of SIG alarm is to terminate the process but we can change that by catching and handling the signal. Another important thing to note is that the alarm function will return a non-zero value if the alarm has been previously set and then the value is the number of seconds remaining for the previous scheduled alarm due to delivered. Otherwise, the alarm will return zero. To demonstrate the use of alarm function to generate signal alarms, we're going to create a new file by opening the terminal and we're going to create the file using the touch command. Once our file is created, we're going to open it in our text editor and we're going to write our C code over here. As you can see, we have included these three libraries in our code. The first one is a standard that we need to use to execute our C programs. The alarm function is present in this library, which is unistd.h, and the signal handler and the signal is generated due to this library, which is signal.h. Next up, we're going to write our main function. Inside our main function, we're going to write a signal handler. Now we need to write this signal handler function as well. And inside this signal handler, we're going to simply print a signal was generated. And now inside the handler function. After that, we're going to call the alarm function to create a new signal after two seconds. And then we're going to use a for loop to show how many seconds have passed. And then we're going to create a delay of one second for each loop iteration by using the sleep function. Now if we compile this program, we should see that our pointer went inside the signal handler after 2 seconds and then printed out this line over here. So we're going to compile it using the GCC compiler and then we're going to run it using the time command. We're going to open up the terminal and compile the program using the GCC compiler. Once it finishes, we're going to run our program using the time command. And as you can see, after 2 seconds, our pointer went inside the handler function. That means our signal was successfully generated and we even handled the signal using our signal handler function. Now if we look at our code and if we create another alarm function, let's say for the delay 4 seconds, and if we save it and compile it, you would see that only one of the alarm function is called. I've already explained it to you as well that the first alarm function is always overwritten. So if we run the program now, then our pointer should move inside the signal handler after 4 seconds. And as you can see, uh, now after 4 seconds have passed, the pointer goes inside the signal handler function. You can even create a continuous generation of signal after every 2 seconds by using the following code. As you can see, we have replaced the sleep function with the pause function. What this does is, it waits for the previous signal to be completely handled. Now if you save this file and compile it, you should see the following results. As you can see, after each iteration of the loop, our pointer goes inside the handler function. So this is how you can create a continuously generating signal in Linux using C programming language. Thank you.